Okay, are we live? Let's see. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Yeah. Make sure I got that set up properly in OBS. You can actually see it. Yes, I do. Okay, stream has started. All right. So, nobody's in here yet. Just wait for people to show up. If anybody's going to show up. We'll see. Either way, today is going to be a cooking show yet again, just like the uh, the chili one we had that the first time I ever streamed. Hey, James, how you doing? Uh, I've played with OBS a little bit now so that I can get... Uh, the chat up in the uh, up in the up in the corner over there, so I won't have to read it out every time somebody says something. I thought that was a little tedious and annoying, so hopefully this works. It's kind of crude, but it's the best I can do on short notice. Put the chat up in the corner. If the if the font's too small, let me know and I'll make it bigger. And uh, yeah, so today's gonna be a. Uh, Today's going to be a cooking show. Tonight I'm going to make a chicken dish that, uh, that I tend to make a lot during the week, and it's really cheap to make. So if you're kind of a geek like me that doesn't that likes you know to just eat leftovers every day, just microwave something and eat it when you're in a hurry doing something with a computer or whatever, it's a good meal to have. And along with the cooking, we'll just talk about you know whatever whatever the chat wants to talk about and some current events that have gone on or whatever. You know, it's just me hanging out. So let's get started. I'm going to get some stuff out of the uh, fridge. The air conditioner's on the background, I apologize for that. But it's hot. Five watching club, yeah. <laughs> One thing I can talk about is I just saw that video that UXW Bill put up of that electric hot dog cooker. Wow. <laughs> that thing was funny. That, oh. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking with that. That that was really hilarious. All right, so let me get my vegetables out. I have a zucchini, as so I put zucchinis and everything, and red peppers. Hopefully, they haven't gone bad by now. This stuff's been sitting in the fridge a while. Oh well. Vocab is mine. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, do I have a way with words? I don't know. I try to be descriptive, at least. I found some old broccoli. Let's throw it out. By the by, the way, um, by the way, can you guys see the chat over there? Okay, is it too small, or can you guys actually read that? Because I can, I can't really stretch it, but I can make it bigger. So just let me know in the chat if the uh, if the chat over there is too small. <laughs> if you can read it, it's good. So yeah, he is a wordsmith. Let me just make notes. <coughs> Something about living in an apartment, you get to stack a bunch of crap all over the top of itself in these drawers. It's fine. Cool. Thanks. So, all right. So the first thing you want to do is just get out your ingredients. Like you normally would. Eight people. Wow. <laughs> Not bad. All right. So you want your vegetables, obviously. Um, yeah, the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I saw this on um, some t-shirt website, and I just thought it was hilarious, so I grabbed it. Because I just, it, it's so hard to take politics seriously anymore, just because it's such a, it's it's gotten to the point where you can't take it seriously, so. Good <laughs> I'm going to go get some onions and some garlic. I think some of the onions have gone bad. I spy a good one though. I 
I managed to find a good onion. Okay, sorry about that. I probably should have grabbed those beforehand, but I was playing with OBS. What are you laughing? What are you laughing at? 200 watts. Yeah, I, I imagine if you put like six, eight hot dogs or however that many that thing hooked, it would be, uh, that would be something, man. Like, I mean, my microwave fuse is less than that. It's a 1,000 watt. Is it 1,000 watt? Yeah, it's a 1,000 watt microwave, I think, so. Uh, sorry, Wobbled. I mean, it's dinner time, and so I'm cooking dinner, so I, can't, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Fei Fei Chicken. Yeah, I... This is how this is how off the cuff I am. I'm wearing a shirt that says Cafe Fei on it. I'm cooking chicken. Cafe Fei Chicken. Creativity. <laughs> Sometimes onions get a bit dirty, so wash that off. And then you're good, man. You're good. Did I seriously get a cooking spray? Yeah, that's not what I meant to grab. I'm stupid. Wow. Um, you don't want cooking spray. You want olive oil. Be smart when you take stuff out of the uh, your, your cabinets. Yeah. Fay Fay Chicken. I, I don't know. Maybe I should maybe I should just write a cookbook and put that in there. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be kinda of hilarious. So put some of that Bertoli extra light olive oil in your uh your sauteing pan dish thing, whatever. Put like a circle or two in there. A little bit more than that. There you go. Put your oil away. Of course, cut up here. The range hood has no exhaust. Yeah, it doesn't, unfortunately. All it has is, all it really does, it has a grease filter underneath. There's just like a metal mesh thing. So if you're cook, so if whatever you're cooking gets off a lot of steam or whatever, it'll at least filter some of the grease out, but it won't filter the smell out. So, hello, Diego Dan. Oh yeah, and when cooking, it's important to use a really big knife. And wear sunglasses, too, if you want to be cool. So. I should angle this down slightly so you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, you can see the laptop. <laughs> That's not what I want. So you can actually watch me slice my finger off by accident. So this chicken dish is one that I actually make quite a bit because it's really easy and if you're lazy but you want food that's pretty good, this is a good way to, uh, to do it. There's not a whole lot to say just yet, so what have you guys been up to? <laughs> Sicily Gaming. Man, I love the strong scent of cafe fame. Uh, using the MacBook Air, yeah. Mainly because, I don't know if you can hear the air conditioner running in the background, but the, the mic on this MacBook has some pretty good filtering on to filter out background noise, so that's the reason I'm using it. Otherwise, I would use, uh, I don't know, maybe my ThinkPad X230 or something like that. I don't even know if that has a webcam, to tell you the truth. It might not. I forget. I think it does, though. I know my X201 does not. But the X201 kind of has a crappy microphone anyway, so. Not a big loss. Plus, plus less of a chance for some weirdo to put duct tape over the webcam. I mean, if you're going to put tape over your webcam, use diff you at least use, like, blue painter's tape or something. <laughs> something that doesn't leave, like, adhesive all over the laptop. I 
my Linux Mint. I use just about every OS. I'm kind of an OS nut. Not like some of the people you see online that are deadly obsessed with, like, Windows 2000 or something. I've seen a lot of that, but no, I'm, I just, I like messing around with a lot of them. Uh, Linux is on most of my machines, probably a good 80, 80, 90 percent of them. But I have a few machines like this lying around that have um, Mac OS X or Windows on them. <laughs> All right, Ian, you have yourself a good dinner. Damn it, I spilled the fake all over my huge hands. <laughs> what a time to be alive, though, like, really, like, when your president is a meme. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, boy. I mean, not to make light of the situation, there's some serious stuff going on in Washington that's just unbelievable. Both sides are just, both sides are a mess, I'll just put it that way. Right on my onion stuff. I just hope they actually, maybe they, maybe they should try something radical, like listening to their constituents. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> All right, let's cut up an onion. Dead. I just tend to, so first thing I tend to do is, is just cut up the vegetables as you do, so you don't get cross-contamination. Cut up your onion into tiny pieces. Should mention that these are uh, sweet onions or yellow onions or you know, whatever they're called. Uh, There's sweet onions in the grocery store where I shop, so I tend to use those in dishes like this because they tend to have a lot more flavor than red onions do. Red onions are better for things like um, like like a burger or a roast beef sandwich or something like that. Whereas these onions are a lot better for cooking, so that you get a ton of flavor out of them. I'm, I love onions and garlic, so that's why I put them on my, all my dishes. And just chop up all that onion into little pieces, like you're some mass vegetable murderer or something. <laughs> They're eating children! <laughs> I think it was called Sausage Party. <laughs> That's some fantastic dark humor, man. There are eating children! I could just imagine what they could come up with from cutting all this onion up. <laughs> the plastic cutting board made a cameo in his apartment job. Yeah. I haven't used the big one yet. I've only used... This is like the biggest cutting board I use right now. This is a little one. So then you take your, so then you take your onions, and you take the shredded remains of your onions, and you uh, put them all in the, uh, put them all in your uh, pot. Garlic next. And all three in live are two words I've never thought I'd see together. Well, I've done it before, man. <laughs> I just don't have a very regular stream. I just kind of do it whenever. Because I'm kind of new to it. Oh, man. Those onions are fresh. They're making my eyes water big time. Wow. <laughs> I'm just so happy you guys watch the channel. <laughs> Damn, man. You can, tell an onion's, you can tell an onion's still pretty fresh when it makes your eyes water. Whew. Oh. Maybe my eyes are watering because I can't make it on my own because my heart's in Ohio. Trump then pours cafe fe on them. Breakfast blend cafe fe. Alright, so garlic, you want to cut the ends off so that you don't eat disgusting parts of them, obviously.
ill state of mind, I would definitely agree with you. We have a very odd place on YouTube. It's, I mean, I would put the, I would love the US life in there with us too. Um, he does some very good videos, especially on old computers and stereos and whatnot. Don't slice off your finger. Take your garlic stick it in the pot. And of course, they always get stuck to the knife, so flip them off your knife there. Mix it up, and there you go. Didn't you have a rack server a couple years back, or something rack related? I never had a rack server, but I remember, um, Years ago, with Grateful 42, we went and dug a server out of a school. It was a really big, like, socket 771 Xeon server, I think. It might have even been before that. But it was Pentium 4 based Xeon, I think. And it was that server where you turned it on and the, the flat for the tape drive would open when you turned it on. <laughs> that was pretty funny back then. Mushrooms. I almost forgot the mushrooms. Now, mushrooms are optional. If you don't like mushrooms, they aren't really important to a dish like this. They're, I just happen to eat them because I live in a town that prides itself in mushrooms. And, hey, why not, right? They're pretty good. They're good in stuff like this. So, My buddy on YouTube, Sansui358, he's, he's trying to get me into rack mount servers. And, uh, it's just too expensive. I mean, all I really do with servers is use them for storage and RAID, so I... Hey, there's not much else I need. The latest component to that was a UPS, and the UPS has done quite well. So... I generally like that. Cut the ends off your zucchini there. Oh, how's the two south... That, that. How's the 2007 MacBook you got from eBay doing? That thing's still working great. I just used it the other day to uh, uh, export some old iMovie projects. I'm sure any, if any of you guys are fans of Lincoln Park, you'll know that Chester Bennington committed suicide this past Thursday. That really bummed me out big time. Uh, I'm feeling better now, but that really bummed me out like, for that whole weekend. And... Uh, I went through my server, and I, I went to see Lincoln Park back in 2008. Uh, it was Project Revolution. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, I saw them there along with Chris Cornell, ironically enough. Um, and they both sang the same song together. Now they're, they both went the same year. It's very strange. But anyway, um, I found my footage from that and exported it. And uh, the MacBook did fine. I... Yep, it still works great. It's still in good condition. However, there is one problem with it that I've noticed. Uh, the battery for that MacBook is now just screwed. Uh, I looked in the battery uh, status indicator, and it said replace now. So <laughs> I think it's safe to say that battery's toast. I don't know if I can revive it somehow, but it was basically undercharged because I never really used it. So that battery might be uh, screwed. Yeah, rest in peace, Chester. He was a pretty cool dude. I, it's, I, I saw him live about nine years ago. I, I, pl I kind of planned to do a video about that at some point, but I don't know. I have the footage, so I don't know. I might still do a video if you guys are interested. I think it would be pretty cool just to show some of the old footage I have just for that alone, but... And in light of what he said, if you, if you, if any of you guys out there have those suicidal thoughts or uh, mental issues like that, where your self worth is just nothing, call the suicide hotlines. And get yourself some help because that's your mind playing tricks on you. Don't let your mind beat you. Do I still have a Latitude D630? I don't, unfortunately. I ended up selling that to somebody. I forget who I sold it to. 
the iBook G4. I haven't turned that on in a while, actually. I assume it still works. Um, I haven't used it uh, very recently. There's your mushrooms. I'm going to wash them over in the sink. Easiest way to wash mushrooms I found is just keeping this package and then just like fill it up with water and then just dump it out. And they're washed. And I get the sliced kind, so I can just do that. No, no muss, no fuss. <laughs> and you can just stick the carton in the recycling bin and then you're done. Free Naz and Unraid, another YouTube fetish of mine. Oh yeah. Free Naz, Free Naz I should, I've played around with a little bit. I feel like I should make a video about it at some point. Just because I think it's pretty cool to have a web interface for that stuff. Um, NPC computer. I don't think I know a whole lot about them. But it's, it looks familiar, though. I feel like one of our niche people made a video about that. Hey, David, how you doing? Cooking, cooking some cafefe chicken. <laughs> what else is going on? IT people love the D630. Yeah, they did. Uh, a lot of people I knew, a lot of friends of mine, and uh, a lot of people I knew around like 20, 2011, like in the early 2010s, a lot of my friends were like, man, these are some great laptops. <laughs> I kind of went the other way and bought a, T6, a ThinkPad T61. And uh, I still have that T61, it still works. Hey, these, these peppers are from Canada. Canada, hey. tags off of these. Hopefully these are still good. These peppers have been sitting around for close to a week or two, I think. If you had to use one operating system for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, Mac OS Windows Linux. Um, wow, that's a tough one. DOS. Well, the funny thing is you can use free DOS, I guess. If I had to choose one, um, I would probably choose Windows, as much as it pains me to say, because it's the most versatile for like getting stuff done at work, getting my video editing done, and all the rest of that stuff. Ideally, I would use Linux, but unfortunately, not all the software is there yet. So, it's getting there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a hell of a lot better than it was 10 years ago. But it, I would probably end up using Windows in some capacity. Yeah, OS 2. <laughs> OS 2 Warp 4. Hell, why not Haiku? Since Haiku is basically just uh, BOS. Let me rinse these off. Alright. So to cut these up, top off. It looks like it hasn't been finished yet. <laughs> Red peppers aren't the most necessary thing for this, but I just, I thought it'd be nice to try something a little different. Make, maybe make my food a little more, have some more variety. Wind blows. <laughs> Microsoft may extend Windows 7 support. It wouldn't surprise me because it's almost the XP of its day these days. It's kind of interesting that way. Okay, these these peppers have a core that's just full of seeds. You want to cut that out. And ideally do it over a trash can. You have a hollow core, because you're eating the outside, basically. Let's face it, half the fun of cooking is being able to use a really huge knife to cut things. <laughs> Be slightly sadistic to vegetables.
Silly gaming. 12 of 6 a.m. Man, you're up late. <laughs> that's about the time I go to bed, usually. About midnight or so. At least that's what I try to do, but lately my sleep schedule's been really screwed up. So what else is going on? Are animals that feel pain and suffering worthy of our moral consideration? I don't know. Um, vegans would tell you that animals are that uh, animals are innocent and we shouldn't be taking advantage of them. But I, I, I don't know. If you look at nature, nature is pretty rough. So it's. I think it just. I think that's all up to interpretation and opinion. As long as I don't have to do the slaughtering myself, I'm not totally against it, just because I don't have to look at it. That's probably a terrible thing to say to certain people, but hey man, I like my meat. I can't help it. Beef, chicken, lamb, bison. It's all good stuff, man. Q-tips, friend or foe. I use them. They work pretty well for cleaning stuff. They tell you not to use them in your ear, but uh, hey, I mean, they, they work pretty well for that as long as you don't jab it in your ear and ruin your eardrum with it. Okay, I'm going to say that you only probably need one pepper for a dish like this. The second pepper I bought, probably not going to use it. So unfortunately, I'm going to probably waste it and throw it in the trash. Something I don't like doing with food, but I'm going on vacation this weekend, assuming jury duty doesn't screw me. So, that will not keep if I don't use it, so no harm, no foul, I guess. Sansory 350A, he's here. Oh, hi. Oh, behind. <laughs> You can only have one console and one game. What would it be? And these are like these are like questions. If you're like on an island somewhere, stranded, <laughs> it's one of those. Uh, I would say, I would say, 007 Nightfire on the PS2 would be a game that I would be love to be stuck on an island with. I'd be okay with that, because that game is really good. It has a solid campaign. It has one of the most fun sniper levels ever. At least when, for when you're a kid, anyway. Nobody used Q-tips for their ears. The Q-tip industry would die. Yeah, pretty much would. They would just have to come up with a product that doesn't, you know, ruin your ears. As long as you're not an idiot with a Q-tip, you're usually fine. Okay, it's all red stuff. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. It's a little colorful. Hey. <laughs> so I got the mushrooms in there, I got the zucchini, I got onions and garlic, uh, some red pepper. I need marinara sauce, which I don't know if the one I have in the fridge is still good. It's pretty old by now. It's the generic, uh, generic giant stuff. Tomato basil pasta sauce. It smells good. Looks pretty good. Right after opening. I don't know if this is still good or not. <laughs> hey, Flying Scotsman. <laughs> yeah, smell of vision. Want to smell some uh, sauce? There you go. I'm going to say that this sauce is still good and that I could probably use it, but only just barely. It's going to be cooked, so I mean, it'll, it'll, it should be fine.
saucepan. Okay. So, let me show you guys the hardest cooking trick in the world. You take your sauce, right? And you pour it in. <laughs> I hope that sauce is still okay. Looks fine. Definitely not enough, though. I need more. Turbo zucchini. Yeah, exactly. What is your most hated game ever? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I think the worst game I've ever personally played is probably Greg Hastings' Paintball for the original Xbox. Oh, my. That game is bad. <laughs> Can't get more generic than just pasta sauce. <laughs> it's marinara, so Get some more of that in there. I'm mixing two different kinds of sauces. One has ba basil in it, and one doesn't. So, hey, I mean, a little basil can't hurt. So, what else is going on? Anybody got news? News of the world? Initial D Mountain Vengeance. <laughs> I just watched a video that uh, Stuart Ashen did at the Norwich Gaming Festival where he sort of did a uh, presentation of. Uh, that sort of promoted his book, Terrible terrible Old Games You've Probably Never Heard Of. There was one that he played on there that literally a guy tried to sabotage uh, a game firm by making the game completely unplayable. And it, there's literally no game there. It's the funniest thing. I'd check that out if I were you. What's your favorite Mac OS operating system? Mine is Snow Leopard. Mine is 10.4, Tiger. Tiger is amazing. This plastic is a bit stubborn. Oh yeah, I should tell you what kind of chicken I get. Um, what I tend to get for cooking are chicken tenders. Stuff like this. Uh, they, they slice them really small, so you don't have to cut up the entire breast. And that makes life a lot easier. You don't have to spend like 15 minutes cutting up your chicken. You can just cut it. You can also jiggle chicken in front of you and look evil. <laughs> so let's cook. Let's cut up this chicken and uh, put it in to the dish. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not supposed to do that yet. I am supposed to saute it first. I probably just cross contaminated my food doing that. Whoops. Three pieces of chicken hit the vegetables. Whatever. I'm not going to die. I've done that before. But ideally, you want to cook. You want to saute your vegetables first and then uh, put the chicken in afterwards. Or no, no, other way around. Saute your chicken first and put the vegetables in later. I think that's the order. I can't remember. I'm such a good cook. <laughs> Essentially what I'm going to do is uh, make a pocket in there for the chicken and then just shove it in. This is a pretty off-the-cuff thing, and I'm slightly out of it, so. Hey, what, can you blame me? Yes, you probably can. It's the internet. There's always something to blame. What else is talking? Uh, Flying Scotsman got an e-machines network that works. <laughs> Live from the stabbing cabin. Yeah, really. 
hunting up dead animals. So I mean, I, I, hey, I mean, man, that food's looking good. Yeah, I think this is gonna be nice. It's gonna be real nice. It's gonna be real nice. Last piece of chicken here. Just saw something out of the corner of my eye. That was weird. You ever get that little shadow out of the corner of your eye? Yeah. E machines, yeah. <laughs> Free cycle is something that I really need to check out in my area. It seems very, it doesn't seem like it's very well centralized on the internet. I mean, I I, I feel like when there are events you can do it, but uh, otherwise, eh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the stove on. Actually, I need to move that over. So we wash all the chicken off my hands, and then we'll get started. Chicken is very slimy. <laughs> then again, chicken is always slimy, so there you go. Silly gaming. Oh, yeah, the third gen needs firewire. It doesn't make that clear, because I know the ones earlier than that just use a straight up firewire port. Yeah. Firewire is pretty cool. Thunderbolt's kind of taken its place, though. Oh, locally managed groups. Maybe that's the case here in Pennsylvania. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that at some point. I don't know how many of you in my area have used FreeCycle before, but hey. All right. I'm going to take the saute thingy, pan, pot, whatever it is, and uh, shove it in the corner. I had like five or six, I guess. I don't know. Still getting used to this stove even after a couple months. I do have some stuff coming up in the future I could tell you guys about. Um, I managed to get a hold of some cabby like stuff, uh, other than laptops, of course, and uh, motherboard, CPU, some RAM, stuff like that. So we're going to upgrade some computers. At least I'll finish the video while I'm doing those after my vacation. I've got one scheduled to come out this weekend uh, that's on some home improvement projects. I got a window air conditioner, so be a video about that. Cafe they like. <laughs> no, I got a hold of cabby like stuff, not coffee like. I'm not that I'm not that lucky. I'm not Linus, man. <laughs> if you had to choose one, what would it be? GBA Advance SP or a Nintendo DS Lite? Um, I have an SP already, so, I mean, I don't know, man. I actually never owned a DS before, believe it or not, so I, I don't know what to expect out of a DS other than maybe some good games. So, I don't know, bro. vegetables a little bit. The 
this probably isn't the smartest way to saute something. I'm doing the vegetables first, which I don't know if that's the correct way to do it. I don't think it is. I think you're supposed to do the meat first. So, there you go. I'm just telling you what ingredients I use. I can't get I'm not responsible for any uh, salmonella. <laughs> Yeah, PS4 is pretty cool. Thread Ripper. I'm loving the names of these these uh, CPUs. It's pretty cool. Thread Ripper looks awesome though. Um, somebody showed me the. Uh, the packaging that Threadripper comes in. It looks pretty cool. It almost looked like an old car headlight or something. It was very strange. But I like the uh, look of it. And the packaging I got with my Ryzen chip was uh, just your ordinary cardboard. So nothing special there, really, but I thought it was neat. <laughs> well, I have that game. I have that Crash game on order, but I don't have a PS4 yet, so that, that remains to be seen. When I can actually play that game. Okay, let's turn that up to 7, so I can actually saute some stuff. And start cooking the sauce as well. <coughs> That on three, I guess. Now we got some sizzling. That's what we like. That's why I never really picked up a DS, because you, you really have to be invested in the games. And I'm just not. I'm so casual these days. Hey, DJ, DJ Daryl Anderson. How you doing? What is my favorite animal? Otters. Listen, it, it, I guess it was kind of obvious from the uh, apartment tour video, but yeah, I, otters are my favorite animal. Because they're basically water weasels. <laughs> and they're funny. They are nature's squeaky toy. And they're a water weasel. How could you not love it? I don't know if you can hear that sizzling in the background. DS XL, wait for it, wait for it, bright blue, yeah, yeah, you would, you would fly Scots when you would. <laughs> I've actually, I actually saw a video on the uh, 2DS XL, and that actually looks pretty nice, I've thought about getting that, because that can do both DS and 3DS games. So I could get a few games here or there, like, I know on those systems they have compilations of older games, like, I think they have Mega Man Legacy Collection on the 3DS? Which would be really nice to have, like, on, on trips or something. That'd be really cool. Advanced Wars. Interesting. I remember people talking about that game. But I never actually, uh, never actually got to play too much of it myself. Like, I saw a little bit. Yes, Dell five five six seven. I am finally streaming again. It's been a while. I've I've just had so, I've just my life has. Let's try let's try putting words together to make sense. That might work. I don't know. My life's just not been that interesting lately. Been doing other stuff. Been busy. Didn't feel like streaming for a while. Finally, do now. I saw UXW Bill's video on that uh, electric hot dog cooker, and I thought perfect time for a stream, right? Switch I'd like to get a hold of and try sometime, a Nintendo Switch. That'd be pretty sweet. By the way, now that more people are here, can you all see the chat up in the corner very well, or should I make it bigger? Oh, no. 
You like my computer vids because they're amazing. Thank you. Dude, I need your opinion should I get an Xbox One or a PS4. It, that really depends on what kind of games you play. Um, the PS4 does have some good games on it. Uh, the Xbox has some other games on it that I like to play. Like uh, I wanted Halo Master Chief Collection. I wanted... Um, just recently, I got... Well, not recently. Yeah, a couple months ago I got Forza, which works on both PC and Xbox. So... I don't know. I'd say it all depends on the games you want to play. As far as the two consoles, they both are kind of the same in terms of their capability. So, Dell, you want to know... You have a laptop you want to upgrade to an SSD. For a secondary laptop, put a 240 in it, dude. Don't spend too much money on secondary hardware if you don't have to. Unless you're, unless you're nuts like me and need to have, like, a whole 32 gigs of RAM in your second computer. And that's only there because I already had it. Why not both? Both consoles or what? Hey, and I think, think that X two thirty. I like that. Steam, yeah, Steam is pretty good too. Four gigs is a little low these days. I mean, you can get by on it if you don't if you only open a couple tabs in your web browser. But I wouldn't I wouldn't call that optimal. I would say six to eight gigs is really what you should have in your computer these days, the very minimum. Ideally, twelve to sixteen. Sixteen, I would say, is a pretty good number. Alright, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to cook the meat after I cook the vegetables, which is not the order you're supposed to do this, but I forgot because I'm out of it. So, I made a pocket for my chicken, and I'm just going to shove the chicken in the corner and cook it that way. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the chicken's like right in the corner there. Alright. Would, would I ever consider doing MRE reviews? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, I've heard some horror stories about how bad some of those taste. I mean, I'm, I've never been in the military because I'm medically... Not only am I medically unfit to be in there, but I'm just not... I'm not fast enough to be a military person. <clears throat> Thinking about getting a MacBook from 2008. Um... Watch the NVIDIA graphics, because if it has an 8000 series anything in it, expect it to blow up. Like an 8600 GT or whatever. Avoid that. If it has Intel graphics, go for it. It won't burn up. I upgraded my computer with 200 megahertz Pentium with MMX. It's a pretty good chip. So Dell says I should get a cheap laptop like an HP Stream 14 and review it. What do you guys think? <laughs> They're all over Walmart whenever I go in there. I mean, they're they're kind of the successor to netbooks these days. They're just low-cost laptops. And as Steve Jobs says, they're not better at anything. So, <laughs> all my computers are super expensive. Well, that's the thing. Um, some of them were when they were new, but I managed to get them pretty cheaply on eBay. Like some of the ThinkPads are like. $200, which is not expensive at all for a computer, uh, relatively, so, maybe I'll have to, if I can find, like, a good deal on eBay or something, maybe I'll have to review one, I don't want to have to buy one, I don't want to have to buy one new and return it to Walmart just to review it, I think that's a bit scummy and nasty, but, hey, 
I don't have the Latitude anymore, but I do have an Acer one that Sansui 350A sent me, and I have some I have some of those HP ones still with the metal body. So I could compare with those at the very least. There's actually a video that a guy called This Does Not Compute did that it kind of uh, talks about netbooks quite a bit, and it kind of explains this a little pretty well. So if you don't want to wait for me to do a video about an HP stream or something, go take a look at that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to try to get a cheap use one on eBay. I, mean, I have a Chromebook that's basically that. Sansui, they are MREs, not MRIs. <laughs> MRIs just like pictures or something. I had MRIs done nine years ago. Let me go eat an MRI and have an MRE done. The chicken's sort of getting cooked. It needs more time. I think if I put the lid on, it'll cook the chicken faster. Let's try that. Yeah, Flying Scotsman has it right. MRI is what you get after you eat the MRE. <laughs> Somebody save that link for me. Actually, you know what? Let me, uh... Oh, I can't click on it. All right. Are you going on holidays this summer? Yeah, I'm taking a vacation to, uh to my aunt's house this weekend. Hopefully if jury duty doesn't screw me tomorrow. I didn't get called in today. They said, you don't have to report to jury duty today. Hopefully it's the same case tomorrow. That would be, uh, that would suck if I couldn't go to see my aunt. She's up in New York, so there you go. Um, Celeron based stuff? Maybe. Meal ready to ingest. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's just go with that. HP stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll take a look around. If I can get one for like $100, maybe I might check it out sometime. Not right now, though. I need vacation money, man. Okay. Tip. If you, if, you, if you forget which order to cook your ingredients in, put the top on to cook the chicken. <laughs> I saw the link, but I can't click on it right now just because chats. I'm using, in OBS, I'm literally using display to drive, just like capturing the display to drive the chat. It's very, yeah. Ah, uh, saying so. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You're working too hard, man. <laughs> Let's check on our food here. That chicken looks fantastic. It's trying to burn my hand. Ah. So once that chicken's somewhat cooked, we mix it all up here. Once you put the, uh, so mix it all back up again, I would suggest putting the top back on so that it cooks every part of your chicken. Because if you're eating raw chicken, you'll probably end up having to get an MRI. <laughs> I should get a Windows XP ThinkPad. I do have one. My T61 technically came with a refurbished copy of XP. Core Duo is really all I'd consider for XP anymore, to be honest. You want dual core. 
They make Celeron dual or quad cores for HP laptops now. Yes, they do. They also make motherboards with it, as Sansui 350A. And I found out the other day. You can get that on a motherboard and stick that in a computer and just use it as a basic machine. I should keep XP on it. Um, it has Arch Linux on it at the moment, so. I have XP on my transfer PC, though, because I use some old software on there for video conversions and audio stuff and whatnot. Like Nero 7. Some old stuff. Ah, the T400. There you go. Um, yeah, the Core 2 Duos are still surprisingly good for how old they are. Um, I guess that's kind of the same case with Pentium 3s about seven years ago. They were still kind of okay back then. At least I saw, I think I saw V. Westlock using those back then. He can correct me if I'm wrong. He always does. Um, a Dell Latitude E4300. Are those the ones that have the, um, do those have the 1.8 inch drives, or am I thinking of something else? That might be the D. That's a that might be a D series latitude action, like a D430 or something. That might be what that is. The E4300. I'll have to take a look at that. How's life going for me? It's pretty good. Um, fairly comfortable, I would say. I can afford to eat, so I'm doing okay. <laughs> Sauce is warming up. This is still cooking pretty well. One thing you want to do with these is check, if you want to see when these are done, just check on the zucchini. And also check on the uh, chicken as well. I'm going to turn this down to like six. Where did I get the wonderful wallpaper on the X140 Evid? Is that the um, is that the mixer background or is that the dark side of the moon? I can't remember when I when what background I had back then. Is it the big mixer thing? Sansui, you definitely should, because I definitely want to see a little bit of detail about that board. If not, just take some good pictures of it, I guess. Or whatever. The mixer background? Ah, I think I got that from... I think I got that from... Uh, yeah, I got that from a friend of mine. He sent it to me one day, and I was like, Dude, that's really cool, so I made it my background. I think he had a bunch of background stashed somewhere, and that was one of them. It was my buddy Dave who did that. Yeah, I just need, I didn't have to upload it somewhere. Yeah, I can upload it somewhere. Just send me a YouTube message and I'll, uh, yeah, send me a YouTube message to remind me and I'll upload it somewhere. Thank you, Silly Gaming. I'm definitely not planning on stopping making videos anytime soon. Might be breaks here and there when I have stuff going on, but other than that, hey. Hey, motherboard issues? That might be why they're getting so cheap. <laughs> Just a guess, you know. I think this is about done. So I'm going to shut that off. And of course, since this is a uh, electric stove, it's still a little bit hot, so it'll still cook a little bit. Oh, the E4200 was a 1.8. Getting SSDs for that would be strange. I 
don't know, man. I've never been to Vienna. I haven't really been to Europe in any real capacity, which is kind of sad. I've been to Turks and Caicos, which is outside of the U.S., so... Yeah, at least take pictures or something. Take a picture of your computer up and running, I guess. I don't know. Yay, Canada. I've been to Canada before, too, actually. I, I was in the uh, Algonquin Park area once in uh, Ontario. And it was nice. Although, uh, yeah. How is Trump doing? Oh, pfft. <laughs> well, uh, I could, uh... He's... Kind of being Trump, kind of the blubbering dude that he always has been. He's kind of a jack of all trades master of none. I mean, it seems it seems almost like it seems almost like the Bush years again, but with with Nixon on crack thrown into the mix. It's very strange. I mean, right now we're on the verge of losing health care coverage. With, Obama, with the Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act. I'm more afraid of what Congress is doing right now than what Trump is doing. Because I'm a chronically ill person. My meds are expensive. I don't want to be screwed over just because of some stupid political ideology that has more to do with, like, I don't know, I ideas and ideals rather than real practical solutions. So... I don't know. I just, I'm hoping right now they don't completely screw it up. Oh yeah, Toronto. I would like to go to Toronto sometime. It was Algonquin, the Algonquin Park area that I was back then. This was like 2003 that I was there. It was a while back. This is looking pretty close, though. I'm going to let the sauce cook a little bit more, I think. King Spec does a few 1.8 inch. Yeah, I, I've never used them, so I don't know how reliable they are or how fast they are. Do a sub giveaway of a PC in December. If I need to get rid of a computer, that might be a good way to do it, actually. Uh, especially, especially if it's like a famous computer from my channel or something. You know what I should do? I think the Flying Scotsman will get a kick out of this. I should just give away, I should give away an H61 gigabyte motherboard. <laughs> or give away a bedside computer, you know, something, something that is just hilarious. Because it's not like I'm, I do have kind of a surplus of desktops, so I don't know. Yeah, Reese, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, as a person that has gone through a lot of medical stuff in my life, why aren't we making the system better? I mean, we're just... People seem to be more focused on the economics of it rather than just making it work. And I, I find that really stupid. Free market's the best. All socialism is awful. But how about what? How about something that makes healthcare cheap and gives me my medicine that I need? I, I, I'm just saying, maybe something that actually works is a good idea. You know, same case with a computer. Using something that actually works is a good idea. I don't know about docs getting underpaid. That might be... I don't know if that's, like, propaganda or not, to be honest. Because I haven't done a whole lot of, uh... I haven't done a whole lot of research on it. But I can tell you that Big Pharma is a big part of this. Drug prices here are just so expensive that that needs to be dealt with before, like, any insurance will work the way it should. Because, like, for example, I take medicine that costs $700 with my insurance. The company that makes the medicine offers an assistance card with it that makes the copay go down to about 10. Without that assistance card, it would still be 700 with insurance. That's ridiculous. Medicine, being healthy should not cost that much. There must be a way to make that work. 
and and I think the only reason is because that uh, big is that um, pharmaceuticals just aren't regulated that well in terms of business practices, and I think that's something that this country needs to tackle and admit that it is a, uh, is an actual problem. Where do I work and how tall am I? I'm five foot six. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I work. That's that's just inviting people to annoy me at work. <laughs> Um, I can tell you what I do, though. I do stormwater management. Well, yeah, much of us want... I don't expect healthcare to be completely free. I just expect it to be affordable enough that I can handle it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't expect to get, get it handed to me. I just think there should be a system in the U.S. that works better than it does. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's a big, it's a long debate. And honestly, what Republicans are doing right now is more revenge tactics than actual practical work and listening to their constituents. So, they're listening to, they're listening to the money. They're not listening to us. That's generally my consensus of Washington right now. They're listening to the money. So... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of nasty. I'm just hoping they don't completely screw it up. And if, if they do, I hope there are streets of London riots in Washington. I really do, because, yeah. Higher salary over here versus there. Well, I mean... At this point, I don't care. <laughs> like, the consumer matters more than any of the employees at this point. Because the consumer is getting screwed. And if, if you care more about executives lying in their pockets and being like, well, they're losing money. At, at this point, it's like, well, they're, they're getting money for the wrong reasons. What did I go for university for? I went for I did I uh, went through business school. And those opinions about big pharma are a little strong, but as someone that kind of is kind of stuck on drugs for the rest of my life, I kind of I, I feel like something should be done about it because it's not fair to the people that it's not fair to people to get stuck with something they didn't ask for. You know what I mean? I'm lucky that I can wish for riots. I mean, I'm not going to start a riot, but if there is one, I'm not going to complain, because that's people speaking up. I didn't do computer science, are you kidding me? That's the most, that's the most, like... Like, that's that's kind of the major that, like, everybody goes into these days, and it's just, like, the market is flooded with computer scientists right now. I didn't want to become a part of that, so. But anyway, I guess my conclusion about the healthcare stuff is that I just, I think we need to make drugs cheaper. They need to put caps on the prices, because... I don't know if you, because I'm sure you guys have read the news how they've just jacked up prices of certain, like, life-saving medicines just because they can, because they don't care about people. It, it's very nasty. It needs regulated, at the very least. At the very least, it needs regulated. Six months? Just for, like, saying stuff? Okay. Do more SSD upgrade. Well, I do have some computers that could use an SSD, I suppose. Alright, the sauce looks like it's done. Ugh. The chicken's definitely done. The chicken and chicken mess, I guess I'll call it. The cafe fe chicken, there we go.
well, the UK doesn't seem to value free speech, so, I don't know. If you don't speak up, nothing will ever change. Exactly. You know? I just don't want to be stuck getting screwed over by a bunch of pharmaceutical companies because I got, it, I got you know, medical crap in my life that I didn't ask for, that nobody really asks for. I just don't think it's right. Your uncle has a color monitor PC. A color monitor PC. That's that's creative. <laughs> An old tower. No, yeah. I mean, I, I don't have as much space as I used to either, so... I've taken the Flying Scotsman's advice and started looking at laptops a little bit more instead, as you guys have seen with things like the System76 videos and whatnot. It's a lot easier to collect those when you don't have a lot of space in your place of living. Duraga wanted his SSDs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think some of this bread has gone bad. Yeah, I think some of this bread's gone bad, even though it was frozen. It must be because it has GMOs in it. I'm not even joking about that either. Like it, it literally says contains GMOs on the back of it somewhere. Yeah, I think some of this I think some of this bread's gone bad. <laughs> Hey, look at that, look at that. It's frozen and it's still like that. What the hell, man? That's high quality. Find some that has the least amount of those spots on it. Eat those. Jeez. Well, I'm not buying those rolls again, I'll tell you what. or whatever. I'll just freeze them and uh, cook them later. Or not cook them, I'll just microwave them. So I think I'm just going to eat the rolls that have the least amount of green on them. Pick off the green parts after I've defrosted them. And then eat them so I don't waste food. I'm not going to buy these rolls again because I think they've been sitting there for a little while before I got to them. That's a shame because they're pretty good. But yeah, I'm going to check the date a little more closely next time. So I just got the first one I saw. Oh yeah, the iMac G3. That's a pretty good system. I, I used a lot of those in uh, middle school, and even some in high school. They still had them in the writing center back then. It's fine for toasting. Yeah, I'm just going to pick the green off. <laughs> I guess this turned into more of a healthcare debate than a cooking show, but you know what? It's relevant. That's fine. Oh, hotel internet. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, the stream the stream's archived on my channel, so you can watch it later if you want to. Alright. So let's pick all the rot off this bread. Like it's an I feel like this is an Ashens video or something. These spots seem to be only on the surface, which is good. I can just pick them off. But next time I'm going to buy actual baguette instead of just little rolls that the bakery at the grocery store makes, because clearly they they, uh, they tend to go bad. 
very quickly. I don't know why. I don't know if that's the genetically modified whatever in here or what, but it's just kind of worrying, to say the least. Six hundred megahertz snow and still works, but my friend found in this box it survived humidity also. I'm kind of surprised because that's what creates corrosion. And I guess if you maintain it well, it's all it's fine. But hey, all right, let's have some chica. A wooden spoon. If you're, if you're Italian and you have a mother, you'll probably have nightmares about this. <laughs> Get the wooden spoon on the ass or something. All right. So show you guys what this looks like. This is what it ended up being like. This is without the sauce on it. It's just red peppers in there, chicken. Now let's add some sauce. Which is just, you know, marinara tomato sauce. That looks pretty good to me. One thing I do after I'm done cooking these is if I have leftovers, I will literally just take these pots and put them in the fridge. Just to be lazy. It works pretty well. Um, hey, Coltec, how you doing? I don't have that... Um, I don't have the Emacs or the G5 anymore. I ended up getting rid of them because they were just kind of big and bulky and in the way. Yeah, I guess that iMac has seen some seen some action and is kind of showing its age, but hey, it, it still works. It still works, right? Alright. So these cool. Let's mix this up and let it cool a little bit. But this is essentially my dinner. Check that out. It's just like red slop, basically, but <laughs> it's good, man. It'll be good. All right. The lid's back on. Stick these into the fridge. Oh, yeah, I got old roast beef I got to throw out. Yeah. I'm sort of making an effort to not buy a bunch of groceries before I go on vacation so that, they, so that nothing has a chance to go bad while I'm gone. That seems to be a pretty good policy. What are you watching? Random stream that I decided to do. You're kind of catching the end of it because I've kind of finished my meal. Finished making my meal here, but... This is essentially what I have. Here's my dinner. Doesn't take much to make a good dinner. So I guess we'll t we'll talk about a few more things and then we'll wrap this stream up. Anything yet? Got it? Blah, blah, blah. Anybody else have anything to say? Where do I see myself in ten years? What is this? A job interview? <laughs> um. Looking ahead that far is kind of strange. Um, well, I still see myself as a technology enthusiast. So, I mean, hey. I swear, Flying Scotsman, you're going to get this video demonetized with all that, with all the uh, vulgarity in the chat. <laughs> Forget the stream, yeah, but the video of the stream, whatever. <laughs> what is one of my favorite things to do? Um, listen to music, I would say. Um, if anything makes me happy more than anything else, it's definitely listening to music. 
Honestly, fine, Scott. So both you and Sansui do it. So, I don't know. Maybe YouTube won't care. We'll see. But generally, I'd avoid it so that you don't get my stuff demonetized. Because that money goes towards stuff to make videos of for the channel. So, it's kind of nice to have. Right? Yeah, music just, music helps so much. Put the stuff in the sink here. Alright, I'm getting hungry, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this. So, hopefully today was a productive stream. It seemed like it was a bit low-key today, not a whole ton of people here. But I think I'm gonna wrap it up for now, so... Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out for a little while. Probably not the most exciting stream I've ever done, because I'm kind of out of it. Sorry, guys. Whatever. Um, but I'll see you next time. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.